It is morning time. It is July 2nd. Um, it's about 9 in the morning. I just got up probably 5 minutes ago. Looks like I'm the only one up right now. Everyone else is still asleep. But it's the first day that we've seen blue skies on the camping trip. And hopefully now that we have the Explorer and the Duramax fixed, we'll have decent luck for the rest of the trip. Blue skies, maybe luck comes along with that, but... Hoping my gear dries up because I'm headed home today. My tent's still pretty wet because of all the water falling off the trees you can hear right now. But I'm not sure what we have planned for today. Hopefully it'll be a more interesting day than the past in a good way. Uh, not any less interesting, but hopefully just better luck than last time. So we'll see what today has in store. All right, well, we're finished up with breakfast. It's about 11.45 right now. We packed our lunches so we can have that later. We're gonna go to the gas station, get some gas and diesel in the trucks. Um, just kind of head around there. Go back to headquarters, check the Explorer, make sure she didn't leak while she was sitting overnight because if it has some radiator damage, it's gonna be a really big problem, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, heading to go get gas now. Here at the Exxon, getting some gas. Sweet looking forerunner. Well, we're back with the Explorer. I don't really see any puddles under there, so that's a good sign. So, you will see how full the radiator is. All right, well, it still looks pretty full in there. I'll take that as a good sign. So, like I said, it's still above the full line right now. And there was a little bit of air in there, so I'm guessing that that's the air that worked its way through the system. So, I'm going to top it off. I'm going to let it idle for a bit, maybe get up to temperature, and then I'll take a look at it. But it seems, it seems dry under here. So, I'll take it. Like I said, it's got to get me home tonight. Seems like she's running all right. I overfilled a bit again, so there's a little devil of coolant right down there. But I'm going to close the trunk. We're heading over to the Overlook real quick. Going to go check it out one more time and then see if we're good to go. There she is. No storm clouds this time, which is nice. Those clouds are a bit dark, but beautiful view. And the highway's right over there. You can hear all those cars going by. I'm about to get hit. Oh! That was a close one. All right, but yeah, the Explorer's looking good. We're going to hop in. We're going to go explore, go hit the tunnel, and uh, we'll see what else we'll do today. Solid view. All right, we're parked up at the top, close to Paw Paw parking lot area. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna head down to the tunnel. A little bit of a hike to get there, but it's worth it. No, I think. Where'd he go? Yo, he disappeared. He probably went under the leaves. I love snakes. Where is you he? You can tell by like their anal plate whether or not they're poisonous. Yo, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you what? They have, it's this scale where their anus is. Oh, uh, yeah. You made it through a wooden sack. Do you know what we should do to install? Okay. Never mind. Do you know what we should do to make ourselves walk faster? What? Put a supercharger in us. Yes. <laughs> Here's the tunnel. Checking out the tunnel. So that makes sense. There's yeah. survey station marks it, on the wall here. It's just like measurements periodically throughout here, measuring yeah. like the distance of the tunnel. Yeah, so zero's down that way. That one's 400. If it's for feet, that would make sense because it seems like about 400 feet till the end. It's yeah. at 400, so it's probably 400 feet over there. Exactly. That would make sense. Made it to the other side of the tunnel. Say hi, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Sam. All right, we're on the quest to go retrieve the flashlight. I see somebody's taking it. I'm gonna go try to find that. All right, boys, you think we can get it? <laughs> we can get it. <laughs> we're power walking. We are going to 
We're gonna get this flashlight back. Let's do this. There it is, boys. We got the flashlight back. Easy work. I was at least nice about it, so that he was planning on dropping it off at the end. It seemed like he was being honest, but we got it back. That's what matters. Back on the other side, up on top of the tunnel right now. Pretty good view of here. Headed back down. Headed back out, saying goodbye to the tunnel. Real incline hours. Yeah. Feeling it. Made it up to the car and he's about to bike down to the tunnel, so wishing him luck there because it's pretty steep. All right, we're trying to find another tunnel, so we're going to have a couple of us riding in the bed. We're going to be off-road, so it's not like we're on public roads or anything. And then the rest will be packed into the front seats and jump seats. What? Dirt on his bed. No, he got dirt on the bed. Here, you want me to stomp him off right here and then you wipe him off or something? Yeah. I gotta move, I can't stand no, sitting I'm, right I'm just recording. All right, you're recording. I yeah, gotta, we're, uh, we're just chilling. Gotta reorient. Oh, that's better. I'm not gonna say it's comfortable in here. Let me flip the camera around. It's back to time. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> not as shaky as I thought it was gonna be, honestly. It's nice that this truck has suspension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sam's does, it's just built for work. Yeah, so you feel it. It's built stuff. different. It is built different. I'm out of the way. I'm out of the way. I, I, what if we just find a bear? Oh, yeah, this is definitely a... Be careful. Yeah, that's probably the tunnel below us that we're looking for. I mean, we're just exploring out of here. I was, I was hoping we'd be able to get down there. Here's that yeah, pipe that runs gonna, by. I'm not gonna... How deep is that? That looks really far down. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably like 30 feet down. Yeah, it's not worth right, it. Climb. Want to climb to yeah, so there's no way down there. I'm not going to risk it. not going to do anything dangerous. Time to go back. Go. All right, well, there's an abandoned town nearby. We're gonna go check that out, see if there's anything worth seeing over there. Hopping in the Duramax again, and then we'll get going. Here's the little abandoned Green Ridge uh, village back here. So, interesting. What's the story behind this? Uh, it's, uh, it's another boy's place or whatever for like kids. So, this was one of those like juvenile yeah. facilities? Oh, you do? Yeah. Did you put on bug spray? No. Look at this. This is one of those like accordion doors. Look at this. Jake rules. Kevin's cooler. I'd say this is pretty cool. This is worth the drive. Because Green Ridge is like extraordinarily obscure, so this place hasn't been absolutely. It's just interesting because, like this, they went from using this and then one day just said, "Nah." Yeah, look at that basketball hoop up there. What was a chair? 
Do you know when this was abandoned? Yeah, there's a labor law sign in there, and it shows the minimum wage for 96 and 97. 1996 and 7. Huh. It's like 95, it's like probably. Something grabs my dick, I'm gonna That'll sound about right. See that, boys? Free tires. Yeah. These are good burnout tires. I mean, they are. Throw them on, peel some wheels, and then good to go. There's tires everywhere. Interesting. So I believe this was said earlier but this actually isn't really a town more so a juvenile correctional facility they have one that's closer to the highway now i don't really know what the story behind it is why it became abandoned but i know there's the new one so i guess they just updated the facilities and left this here it's interesting though it's got a story behind it so who knows what's happened down here all right so that hill up there the camera can't really justify it but it's pretty nasty in terms of steepness it really goes up that little ledge right there and then straight and curved up so, I'm gonna try to take the Tacoma up there because there's a little road at the top and why not? All right, I'm designated Snapchat cameraman, so I'm gonna climb up the hill right now. It's, like I said, very steep. My feet are on an angle, I'm slipping down a little bit. Getting in the grass for more traction, but I'm sure she's got it. Not bad. Not it looks bad. it looks fine under there. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, just don't try it again. <laughs> yeah. She did fine. I knew she would. You can see it good on camera. There's the slight bottom out. That looks about the width of a frame rail. Oh, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. It well, still runs. It Oh, that was cool. Yeah. Oh, is he going down here again? Yeah. Not a fan of that bridge, I guess. Yeah, I know. Every time. <laughs> Every time we come down bridge. here. He's not a big bridge guy. There he goes. Ooh. Not a big bridge guy. Not a big bridge guy. Oh. Ah! Yep, this is the new juvenile correctional facility. Which I think the most interesting part to me about that is the fact that the old one was so far deep in the woods and this one is just right off of I-68. All right, well, I'm starting to take down my tent because I'm leaving with Jameson tonight and we're going to test the Explorer and make sure that she can get us home. Hoping she can. I think she can. But, yeah. I'm going to make a hamburger helper for dinner. The fire's finally going. Garrett's cooking dinner for us. Got some firewood gathered. Getting everything settled before I head out. All right, once again, we're fighting against the rain. I'm just going to hope that keeps going, but we'll see. Hamburger helper for dinner, boys. What do you have to say? I'm in heaven. It, First time having it. That's decent. Decent? Decent. Well, decent. This shit like crap. <laughs> have y'all had his mom's food? 
Okay, Jameson's mom is like one of the greatest. Jameson's mom is a very good cook. All right, it's about 10 o'clock. I'm about to head out with Jameson. Sam's gonna drive us over to the Explorer. <laughs> See ya. Back with the Explorer at headquarters. Sam just dropped us off, so thank you, Sam. Yeah, anytime. Gonna head out with Jameson. We're gonna head back to good old hometown Harford County. So if all goes well, the next video that you'll see will be a time lapse of us going home. And then following that, I will post a conclusion to this video. If anything happens in between, it wasn't intended, but yeah, pray for us. So as you can tell by the fact that I'm in my house now, the Explorer made it all the way home with no hiccups, which is great. Uh, closest thing that we had to an incident was a couple deer that were near me on the way home, but made it home, had no issues, so very thankful for that. Overall, fun trip, did a lot of fun stuff. Uh, wasn't exactly thrilled about what happened with the Explorer, not my brightest moment for sure, but it's all resolved now, so that's what matters, so... Glad I made it home safe. Hoping the rest of the guys do tomorrow when they come home. So that'll be the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, I know I already said I filmed the end of that last video, but it is the 4th of July right now. Happy Independence Day. I uh, dug a little deeper into the Lexus, and it turns out the problem is a much simpler fix than I thought. So when I came home, this is what the puddle of oil looked like. You can see just how much it's come out, and it's coming from the front. So I was thinking, what is that? because it is also still dripping out the back. I looked, it was still coming down the rocker panel, and I decided, you know, let's check the inside. I always keep a spare quart of oil on me. I didn't even think about the fact that it could have been this, and lo and behold, it is sitting inside of a puddle of oil. So, that's, that's what was causing my leak. Nothing was actually leaking, it just happened to be a bottle of oil that I left in there and forgot about, so... I could have avoided this entire explorer mishap by just realizing that I wasn't leaking oil from my engine or anything like that. But yeah, it's it's past midnight now. I'm just now coming to this realization. Disappointed that I didn't find it earlier, but it's it's quite comical. It makes the whole explorer story even better knowing that the entire thing could have been avoided. Anyway, that is the end of this video. The Lexus is back in commission, good to go. Uh yeah, thanks for watching. Also, for all those who are curious to see what the old coolant hose looked like, I have it right here. You can see this is where it clamped in and went into the engine up here. And then following it down here, you can see that this is where it busted open because you can see the little stitching from inside right there. So, see, it's a pretty nasty hole. I can fit my finger through it. See how bad that is, and then don't know if you can see much of that from the inside, but there's the crackage. So, pretty nasty hole. That's why it lost so much coolant, obviously, because lot can see through right there but it all worked out so there we go